Now we are looking for the circumcenter. I have already drawn in the equation y equals one third x as we found that perpendicular bisector in the previous video. Now we need to find two more perpendicular bisectors. In order to do this, I'm going to first find the midpoint. So if we were looking for the midpoint of AB, that need, means I need to find the average of the x-coordinates. So that will be negative 2 plus 2 all over 2. Where the negative 2 came from point A and the positive 2 came from point B. And for the y's, I will have 2 plus 4 all over 2. And that will simplify to 0, 3. 2, 3. And I will, can we call, we have point D for 3, 1, like we found it last time. And so that means this point will be point E. Now I will find the midpoint of AC. That means I need to do negative 2 plus 4 all over 2 for the x-coordinate and 2 plus negative 2 all over 2 for the y-coordinate. So negative 2 plus 4 is 2 over 2, which is 1. And then we get another 0. So I have the point 1 comma 0, and I will call that point F. Now that we have found all of the midpoints, we need to find the lines that are perpendicular and pass through these midpoints. So I'm first going to focus on going through point E, 0, 3, which means I need to be perpendicular to line AB. So the slope of line AB is 1 half. So again, we're going to use our opposite reciprocal. So the slope perpendicular to AB will be negative 2. Since I'm going through the point 0, 3, that is already my y-intercept, so I will have the equation y equals negative 2x plus 3. Looking at the midpoint that goes through line f, the slope of ac is negative 2 thirds, that makes the perpendicular slope a positive 3 over 2. The y-intercept is not easy to see here, so I will go ahead and plug it into point slope form. So y minus 0, because I'm going to use the midpoint, which is 1 comma 0. Let's see. 3 halves times the quantity x minus 1. And that simplifies to 3 halves x minus 3 halves. So now I'm going to plot those two lines on my graph to see what they look like. I drew the three lines while not recording because this is a new program. And I wanted to make sure I can get it to look as good as possible. I couldn't figure out the straight lines, so they're not great, but it's better than nothing. Looking at this picture, I'm going through three different midpoints, and I have three different right angles. I have a right angle perpendicular to AB, I have a line that is perpendicular to AC, and I also have a line that is perpendicular to BC. So I'm looking good. And the three lines intersect at one point, and that point is our circumcenter. We can't tell exactly where that is, so that means we are going to need to solve a system of equations. I will pick the top two, and then I will check it using the last equation. Using substitution, I'm going to take a one-third x and plug it in for y. So I have one-third x, and that will be equal to negative 2x plus 3. To get rid of the fractions, I'll go ahead and multiply everything by 3, which means I have x is equal to negative 6x plus 9. I can add my 6x to both sides, so 7x is equal to 9, and x is equal to 9 sevenths. 
from here I need to solve for my y, so I'll plug it into the top equation, so 1 third times 9 sevenths, and I can simplify by making that 301 and this 9 3, and so that means that my y is 3 sevenths. I found that the point 9 sevenths, 3 sevenths is the solution for the top two equations, but I'm not sure if it fits, if it works for that last equation, y equals 3 halves x minus 3 halves. So I'm going to plug it in to check my answer. So I'll plug in 3 sevenths for y, and then 9 sevenths for x. Simplifying, I get 3 sevenths is equal to 9 times 3, which is 27 over 14. Now I need to subtract, so I need a common denominator, so I'll multiply 3 halves by 7 over 7, which means I'm subtracting 21 over 14, and that equals 6 over 14. And then these two are the same because if I divide 6 divided by 2, I get 3, and 14 divided by 2, which means I get 7. And I know that 9 sevenths, 3 sevenths also works in this last equation of 3 halves x minus 3 halves. In conclusion, that means that our circumcenter is 9 sevenths, 3 sevenths. In order to find Euler's line, you will need to find the orthocenter and the centroid, and last, find the equation of the line that goes through all three of those centers.